Alongside Ayurvedic doctors in Kerala, India. Sorry, there's a whole modality of Panchakarma, which is replenishing, rejuvenating. Uh, if you're feeling like you're stressed or worried or uh, maybe burnout, what this will do for you is help you relax, reset, rejuvenate. It'll also uh, get in there and go deep into the tissue so that any disease or any imbalances within the body are brought to the surface and then detoxified or transmuted, I guess, and no longer living inside you. So what Panchakarma does, so this is Ayurveda, it actually uh, uses like medicines, herbal medicines, and we'll say ghee is one of these herbal medicines because they put herbs in the ghee. And what happens is over time when you take the ghee alongside other medicinal herbal medicines, the toxins within the body get drawn into the digestive system over a week or two-week process. And then at the end of that process, that panchakarma or treatment plan or care plan, wellness care plan, you purge, and you purge either through the body when you go to the toilet, maybe you urinate or poop, or you um, actually have like a, it's called a gentle, col col it's like a gentle colonic, so something's inserted to just around the outside of the anal passage, and that helps things along as well because some people have been highly stressed um, over a long period of time, and what happens is, it affects the digestive system. So that then restricts the natural way because everything that goes in must come out. And if you're taking in food, it must come out. And usually the digestive system takes a few hours and then you go to the toilet or at least once a day. Some people go two or three times a day like me. So, but I have a high pitta, which is your digestive system. And then what happens is, once you've released uh, whichever ever, ever way, ever way that um, the detoxification process is working for you because it's unique to everyone, so it's not one size fits all. We're not all put into a box. We're all very unique. But what happens is that process takes out all the toxins and replenishes on a cellular level. So it's a very spiritual process part of the release so that's the body the internal body and it's taken care of through diet so the diet is modified there are certain restrictions um when i say restrictions i mean there's no coffee supplied but they don't mind if you have they explain why you shouldn't have coffee um but a little bit a day doesn't hurt so if um there's things that you uh, know, alcohol, so it's a complete replenish and detox. And what I found when I was doing uh, Panchakarma, and I've done many uh, with these doctors over uh, for many, many years, it's where I did my Ayurvedic training. Um, I spent over a, a year, almost a year and a half training, going back and forth to Indian, doing three months. Um, slots of training and working with the doctors alongside the doctors training with the therapist um, on massage mama points and what happens is your body does a reset and 
you at the end of the process, you come out of there thinking, oh my God, who is this person? This new light, very spiritually connected, very focused, very defined gracefully, this new person of, wow, I feel amazing at the end of it. And that is because you've allowed the body to reset, replenish. The cells have an opportunity to just flourish while all the, the, the cells that are carrying the disease, the stress in the body, stress on your organs is being released and they're getting a rest and they're resetting. So that's sort of how it works. And part of Ayurveda is using uh, yoga, so certain yoga techniques. So there might be um, pranayamas, um, certain mudras. So he's, that's a little breastwork technique. You may have seen it. It's a type of pranayama, but there's many. Um, so we can do breastwork every day, meditation. It's important to have the deeper meditation. So using the modalities of um, Buddhism, Ayurveda, uh, from the ancient sages, the information, bringing that together and learning why we do it that way. So what's happening to my body, for example, if I'm doing an asana in a yoga practice, why am I doing that? So it's all to do with the chakra system. And this, what the chakra system is, your beautiful energy field, your light, takes you back to your light. Um, and it's an amazing feeling once you learn these techniques. And it, they're very, very simple. This is not a hard process to stay spiritually connected. So we could look at this like spiritual therapy using the modalities of this ancient wisdom, Ayurveda, to bring yourself back to reset, reharmonize, and uh, just replenish from the inside out. So it's not just about doing your meditation and going, okay, my mind is calm, my mind is calm. What about the things inside that we can't see that are actually keeping us alive? So one is the breath. Two is your chakra system, which is connected to your internal organs. Um, and three, what about the outside? And that's the, the massages. So the Ayurvedic massages that are uniquely designed for you and your dosha. Your dosha is what you were born with. It is your constitution. The, your dosha is vata, pitta, kapha. We have all three, but there's two that dominate. Um, one or two, mine's actually pitta and kapha. So I need to keep my eye on the vata and the vata is the mind. And I know as I get older that can happen with age and it's to do with your hormonal imbalances as well so we can bring a nice balance back to the hormones through using Ayurvedic techniques that are designed through qualified, highly qualified and professors of Ayurveda and senior physicians. So I'd love to take you there. It is from the 14th of October to the 28th of October. You can click on the link in my bio um, or go to my website, www.kerrythehealer.com and learn more about that. Would love to take you on the journey with me. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste.